earth, fused by fire, alchemist of light. Glass is as fascinating as life itself. To fashion it into art is a challenge of technology and craft, but above all, of conception. For Hemi Bauer, the seed of that conception lies not in thought, but in feeling. From perceptions of nature and humanity that engage with her being till their time has come. A time of articulation and expression. Whether in glass, paint, metal or wood, hers is a versatility that takes Hemi far beyond the boundaries of here and now to an art that is truly universal. And yet, like all significant work, hers alone. I started working in glass about 10-15 years ago and uh, it was the result of a process. I was looking for something three-dimensional because I've been painting forever. Glass is a tough medium, it is, um, doesn't give you any leverage, you cannot mend it, you cannot, uh, once something goes wrong, it, it, the whole sculpture is wasted, I just have to throw it away, there's nothing I can do with it. And yet it is a very exciting medium, the way it traps light, the effects are fantastic and um, it also involves a lot of technology in terms of, I, I do casting mainly, so I have to make the moulds and the electric furnaces are involved and it's, it's quite a tedious process. actually started as a glass artist and she is one of the few people who's not really doing either blown glass or glass with form and function. She was basically using the medium of glass to express her creativity and use it more in a sculptural form. she slumps glass, the way she fuses glass, the way she casts the glass and then mixing glass as an unconventional medium to copper and stone. Um, her approach has been very, her approach has never been defined by a style. She's, she's always pushed her own boundaries and created a def different design language or different art language and uh, therefore her thinking has been very very lateral rather than being straight jacketed and says this is my style and this is what I'll stick to. You know I normally just keep gathering impressions uh, sometimes in the form of a sketch or sometimes in the form of a photograph. Sometimes just looking aside something intently which affects me. And these impressions I keep uh, inside me, you know. And so when I start to work it is uh, not really that much of a thought process. It's uh, more a feeling. I stand in front of the canvas and it just goes, uh, evolves into the ultimate picture, it is a
process of feelings, emotions, uh, impressions. So there's not really so much a play of the mind. Nature is getting kind of reflected in my work. You know, uh, I have always enjoyed uh, the feeling of quietness and space and things like that. The colors, the forms of the trees, the flowers, the grass, the sky is just, just absorb everything and that somehow gets reflected in my work. The way she transforms glass into forms, which is really not a refined uh, product in the end, and the moment I saw that kind of a thing, and it, it just occurred to me that some of the things that we do in different parts of the world uh, could be a, a pretty good area for her to uh, be associated with us. And the first project that I really asked her to work with me was um, in the Kabul Hotel. We felt that you know, it's the, me the medium that she is very good at would be very appropriate. Hemi kind of uses uh, glass in a very sculptural way. She's, it's also constructed. It's not chipped away. I was on the advisory panel for uh, Florence Biennale and it's like a huge art festival of fair which is uh, very open so you have artists from all over the world but her work had an Indian ethos you know the snake and the uh, whole concept so a lot of people showed a lot of interest and um, I was very pleased to have recommended her name. I think uh, an artist's personality you know sort of uh is a, is a big uh, factor in, in their product. And her personality, her demeanor is very pleasant. You know, I like uh, working with her. When I do commission work, um, I, I don't call it work, I call it my art. And uh, it's just that uh, it's like a site-specific piece of sculpture or art. And there, there are a few guidelines in terms of space, but otherwise I'm giving artistic license to do what I want to do and I quite enjoy that because it's a challenge and every time it is a challenge that can I create something for this space will it be the way I want it to be You can't really give it a label. Is it Western? Is it Indian? All the word I would use for her is that it's very singular and it's quintessentially Hemi. If any art collector who is a discerning eye who is looking for a multidisciplinary art artist uh, will definitely go for Hemi's stamp on, because Hemi is one artist who will who will people with their lives to work. Once they absorb the work, once they see more of Hemi's work, once Hemi's work is getting internationally exposed, I think she uh, would be a huge, uh, she would, that, as an artist and as her work will be in, in a huge demand. <laughs>